Forgot your iPad passcode? If yes, then here are two easy ways to unlock your disabled iPad. Let's get started. Our first method is using the lock screen itself. For this method to work, make sure your iPad is connected to internet. When you connect it to internet and input wrong password several times, you will see this option. Just tap on it. Tap once again. Now type your Apple ID password to sign out. After that, wait for your device to restart. Once your device is restarted, your forgotten iPad passcode will be removed. Now as you can see, now my forgotten iPad passcode is removed. Now all you have to do is set up your iPad as if it's brand new. So I'm going to skip this method because I assume you already know that. Now let me show you the second method. Our second method is using a software to unlock a disabled iPad. For this method to work, you need a Windows or a Mac computer with active internet connection. And also, you need a software called PassFab iPhone Unlocker. You can get the software from the link given in the video description below. After installing the software, open it up, click on start. Now connect your iPad to your computer. After that, click on next. And from this list, select iPad and get your iPad into recovery mode. This software provides instructions for all the iPad models. For example, if your iPad doesn't have a home button, then you need to follow these instructions to get your iPad into recovery mode. If your iPad has a home button, then you need to follow these instructions. In short, get your iPad into recovery mode following these instructions. Okay, now I'm gonna put my iPad into recovery mode. So I have to press volume up, volume down, and then keep press and holding the power button. In your case, it will be different. After putting your iPad into recovery mode, the next step is downloading the latest version of iPadOS for your device. So as you can see, the software is suggesting me to download iOS version 16.1. So just click on download and wait for this download to complete. The software also gives you an option to download the firmware through a web browser. If you want to download the firmware through browser, click on this option. It will open up your web browser and it will start downloading the firmware automatically. In my case, I already downloaded the firmware, so I am going to import it. After importing the firmware, the software will start removing lock screen from your device. This process takes around 5 minutes, so you have to be patient. While this process is taking place, would you please like this video and share it with your friends? Your one like and share means a world to me, so thank you so much if you do. After removing the password, the software will give you this message. Now your job is done with the software, so thank you. Click on done and close it. Alright, now you can see my iPad doesn't have any passcode attached to it. It's completely removed using the software. So there you have it guys. That is how you can remove your iPad passcode if you forgot it. Please let me know which one of these options you are going to try. Let me know your answers in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. And also, if you find this video helpful by any means, then please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. You are one like and share means a world to me. So thank you so much if you do. And if you want more videos like this in the future, then please subscribe to my channel. And I will catch you on the next one. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Peace.